Hello and welcome to Pure Experiences Online Satsang. This online meeting is an opportunity for all of us to meet and discuss the spiritual matters and also answer some of your questions, clear your doubts and uh, discuss whatever is important for you, issues related to your practices and all. And we also discuss the activities of the program here. So if anybody has any question, most welcome to write it, write it down or they can say it if they want to say it. Meera is asking, sometimes we fulfill our desires before we are aware, like move hands to take something. How can we be aware about this minute desire? Don't worry, don't worry so much that my hand moved without me being aware. It's not that, it's not that important, you see. What do I say? When your awareness is there, when it is really needed, then you are doing great. You, your hand is moving or you're, you're talking something on phone and without really being becoming aware. No problem at all. But you are not aware in a state of, let's say, conflict. Somebody is angry at you, your husband or somebody. And then you are not aware. Or you need to do some work and you are distracted by something else and you are not aware there. That I need to finish my work first. And that is the problem. But uh, leave the minute things. Do not focus there. Focus on the major things. Are you aware why are you alive? Are you aware what is your life goal? And then that is the you know, big thing. That is the major thing. Like I said, uh, you I have given I think 10, 8 to 10 ways to be aware. Like become aware of your environment, of your body, of your internal body, of your mind and all these people, relations, your, vo your uh, speech. And so on, you see. I've given all those uh, categories of awareness. Now check which is most important for you. And hit on that. Hit the nail on its head. Do not hit somewhere else. So uh, don't worry about your hands moving. You know. If you have fulfilled your desires without being aware, no problem at all. Just become aware that you have done that after it is done. You see, there, the, In the three stages of awareness, I have said that uh, you become aware of it before it happens or you become aware of it while it's happening or if you fail in both, then you become aware of it after it has happened. Even replay, replay the action in your mind with full awareness. That is kind of damage control thing, you know. So either proactive or postactive, you need to do it. But don't worry about the minute things. The major things need to be taken care of. Meera is saying, not sometimes, all the time, I'm not aware about this step. Don't worry, don't worry. If there is desire, the action will happen. You will come to know. Go step by step. Satya is saying, is it normal to have light sleep? No, it's not normal. See, the way to find out is, you know, check your health. Is your weight decreasing? Is your weight not healthy? Are you feeling lazy all day? Are you feeling without energy, tired? And then it is not normal. <laughs> First, there can be a biological cause. So go and consult the doctor. If it is not biological, it is surely mental. Which means you don't have a goal. It means there is nothing exciting in your life <laughs> which tires you down. Or there are unfulfilled. There are so many unfulfilled desires that they don't let you sleep. Or there is worry and fear that you have accumulated so much that you worry and then cannot sleep properly. So check, check your life. Vipin is saying how to let go, there is no control, quality of sleep has deteriorated. Well, the first thing is you need to have a positive attitude towards the dreaming state. Be positive, you look forward to it. That today it's going to happen, tonight it's going to happen. If you have a resistance towards it, like, no, it should not happen. I want only sleep and sleep. And that means there is a conflict in you. You are pushing it towards awareness on from the one side and you are not letting it happen from the other side. You know, you're pushing it in the opposite. So it will cause uh, this kind of issue. Either you don't do it. You see, they are optional. The sleep, the dream and uh, uh, projected states, practices, they are optional, you know. Probably, you know, not many people want to do it. What is the 
required is the waking but then the waking is going to produce the waking state awareness is going to produce effects in the other state you should have an accepting attitude that look this is going to happen now and then your mind will adapt that is what i call letting go do not resist do not try to go to the old pattern of your life you want the change isn't it that's why you are on the spiritual path can you progress without changing is it possible you know i was saying this yesterday in satsang people want to remain the same but they want spiritual progress is it possible no there will be challenges there will be changes everything is going to change like i say everything changes like i have no schedule of sleeping or waking now <laughs> it is it's completely destroyed because of my practices and that does not mean that i don't get sleep i get the sleep whenever it comes i go to bed now what is the problem with other people they have a 9 to 5 job and they must sleep in the night then don't do this practice get out of your job you know fix your life first the lower layers are not fixed and you're trying to do something at the higher layer and how is it possible tell me you have not adopted the minimalist lifestyle that is recommended and you are trying to do so many things how is it possible so if you cannot leave your job then become aware while you are in the job that is the only possibility for you don't do the sleep experiments dreaming experiments and all once you make enough money or lose interest in your job that my job is you know like uh, the biggest problem in my life is my job and then you will see you progress check your life consult me <laughs> if you want and uh, vipin need not worry you see you are not in this st- stage 4 when i say consult me that means you are very serious about these things and then i am going to recommend something really serious and then if you don't do it then don't ask me sometimes i'll say drop this relation sometimes i'll say leave this job sometimes i'll say change the city and people don't do it i've seen they have a lot of inertia no i'll continue doing what i want but i don't i want to change for better you no know, it's not possible you see it's not possible you are responsible for your growth your spiritual growth i can only give you suggestions you see sometimes they work sometimes they don't sindhe singh animals aware of yes be- become aware of the animals also are you torturing the animals are you killing the animals unnecessarily are you caging them and accumulating <laughs> karmic things become aware of your actions that are just imposed on you by the society you copied it from ignorant people let go of them you will immediately see a rise in your bliss awareness happiness carelessness stop caring things which don't matter to you satya is asking what does giving transmissions mean in the path of knowledge i don't know <laughs> you see we are tra- we sometimes we say i am transmitting knowledge i am not transmitting knowledge knowledge is where you are i am transmitting information i i point and then you look that is what is called transmitting it it can mean something else in the other paths so we are not worried about that sometimes i say this just to you know get the attention of people that come to the satsang and i'll transmit my knowledge to you it, it is kind of it is not true you need to take your own knowledge sometimes it is so fast that i am speaking and you are getting the knowledge it is so fast it looks like that it is being done to me but no it's not like this the pointing is sometimes instantaneous and it looks like you got that which your guru has but uh, nothing like this pratib is saying what is devi i love your expression in form of devi what you are you are seeing right now is devi surprising isn't it people are searching for the devis in these things in temples and himalayas and who knows where or they kill themselves and go to the other worlds and <laughs> whatever you are looking at is devi nothing else your experience is devi okay mon is saying i have also dropped job relationships living in society moved in the outskirts of city and the results have been phenomenal on the spiritual path yes you are doing that which you love to do you see just by talking to you i feel the peace i feel the peace in muni just by talking to you very good now why are people you know resisting this um, kind of uh, 
transformation in their lives. Fear, fear, what will happen to me if I do this? So we have some, you see, solutions for that, you see. Just save some money, practice alone, somewhere. Use your skills to survive nicely in minimal possible, you see, ways. By minimal, I don't mean you suffer in poverty and live in some uh, insecure place. No, I've done that myself. Like uh, some 10 to 15 years ago, just left everything. And only then my progress ha progress happened. Only then. Now you will say, I need to do it first and only then I'll start my practice. No, this letting go letting go of the society and relations and all the all the accumulated stuff happens while you are practicing there is no schedule of spirituality let me finish this and then i'll do something else no yes if you are completely kind of unable to survive then i recommend that okay fix your survival first and then we'll think about in the path of knowledge but when you are kind of, you feel you trapped in the society, trapped in the world, you are doing okay. You have a chance to escape. Then, you see, you can. I mean, it's case by case basis. There is no general rule here. But the trend is like this. That you fix your survival. And instead of getting entangled in your survival, like keep doing it, doing it so much, that it becomes a burden. You retire early. You retire from the world only. Either do something which does not take up a lot of your time. Do something which is interesting for you. And do something which is your spiritual practice itself. And enjoy the life. You don't need to go in the jungle or in the cave like she said. Just some somewhere away from the crowd. You, do, you don't need to completely leave the job. Just drop the donkey work which is making somebody else rich. You are getting peanuts. Drop that kind of work. And take up something which is light. Even if it is not paying you that much. Which leaves you a lot of time. For your practices and all. Although on the path of knowledge. Hardly anything. <laughs> there is hardly anything to do. I say that you do whatever you are doing. With complete awareness. So this is not a must. But this is desirable. Ultimately, we, we are going to leave the whole whole thing. So while we are in the body, you do such arrangement, a little bit of arrangement to make your life easier. To do that for which you are born, remove the hurdles to that. If it requires leaving the jobs and relations and families, then do it. You see, be bold. Those who don't want to change with progress, no hope. Yes, Muni is saying the survival is taken care of automatically. If you are kind of surrendered to the process of spirituality, then the guru feel makes it smoother for you. I'm not saying, you see, you don't need to do anything. You do whatever is needed, but there will be more success for you. That is another topic, isn't it? Another matter. But yes, many people have reported that anything they don't want and anything they want to do happens. And if it should not happen, then no matter how hard you try, it won't happen. And the, the Guru field works in the opposite way also. It lets you do these things smoothly that help in your progress. But as soon as you make a mistake, they, they are going to ensure that you don't, you don't get success in that. You are diverting too much from your path. Why? Because, you know, everything is getting fulfilled instantly for you. Then you say, okay, let me do that also now. And they will ensure, the guru field will ensure that it fails very badly. And you also get a lesson as a bonus. So this is happening to me also. <laughs> whenever I divert from my path, I get a stick. And whenever I'm doing, I'm doing something which is beneficial for all the people, you know, and for me also, then it happens automatically. Then, you know, it's like a miracle thing. If I really need it, it will happen no matter what. So, but don't worry if this is not happening for you because probably you are in the early days of spirituality. Soak in the sun of spirituality for at least five to ten years. Don't rush too much. 
Oh, he has got the waking dreams. He has got the, and I don't even have a dream which is worth telling. Don't worry, you are on the path of knowledge since only one month. So, <laughs> don't worry. Spend some time here. We are born for this. Now, why are you in a hurry? Devote your life. There's nothing worthwhile here. Nothing worthwhile. So yes, um, we are already crossing the time limits here. I am going to stop here. If you have more questions, please bring them up in the next meeting. And we'll end today's meeting here. It was very nice. And I'll see you next time. I'll see you in the next satsang. Have a nice day.